Okay, I'm heading out. Can I come? Sorry, chicken. I needed to take the brownies out of the oven in a half hour. Carolyn can do it. And straighten up this mess. Didn't I just pick up in here? Sorry, Mom. You okay, kiddo? Could I visit Grandma and Grandpa for Christmas? As my present? All the snow and real pine trees you talk about from when you were little? Maybe I could see that too. You said Grandpa's shoulder wasn't doing very well, and they might not make it to visit this year. And maybe you could have some time all by yourself with Grandma and Grandpa? Hey, this is a private conversation. It's my room, too. I thought you went to the beach. I need my sunglasses. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. Look, Dad and I have to go, OK? We'll be back with Connie and Benji in 45 minutes. We can talk about this later. You sure you don't want to head out with the others? Mm -mm. All right. Well, Joni's here getting ready for her date. Don't forget about the brownies and make this place look extra special for when we get home, OK? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's cool. Thanks. I thought my mom would like it. She's always doing hard stuff. You mean, like, taking care of you? Hey! <laughs> You should save it as a Christmas present. It's good. Nobody wants my drawing as a present. What's in your list? Oh, uh, Dick Tracy watch, marbles, a new bat, and blue flippers. <laughs> my friends are getting blue ones. How come everybody likes to do the same things all the time? I don't know. People like doing what their friends do, I guess. But doesn't that make things kind of ordinary? What if I want to be extraordinary, not extraordinary? It's like. Every house on our block is the same. And the next block over, too. Mom said she wanted her house to be special for our guests, but... Oh, I know that look. What are you doing? Bike to school tomorrow? Sure thing. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw it You would even say it glows All of the other reindeer Used to laugh and call him names They never let poor Rudolph Join in any reindeer game Extraordinary then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? What are you doing? Did Mom say you could do that? It's a surprise. Oh, she'll be surprised, all right. And you're too short to reach the top. I know what I'm doing. Why'd you come back anyway? We forgot the sand toys. Is something burning? Oh, the brownies. Fireman to the rescue! Can you get them? I'm in the middle of painting. Mom told you. But the burning is outside. No, 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 Tommy, stop! Tommy, stop! <gasps> Jerry! What in the world? Mary Ellen forgot the brownies. Uh. Oh my god. Joan, uh, could you oh, show Connie and Benji to Tom's room? Sure thing. Carolyn, could you wash up and take the kids to the beach and let them play until dinner? All of the kids? All of them. Except Mary Ellen. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Close, Vince. I love you, Ellie. And I love your big heart. And I know in a family this size, it can be hard to get attention. But you can't keep crawling into window displays, wearing clothes you're not supposed to. There's nothing wrong with pants. And painting doors to stand out. I wanted to make our house stand out, not me. Maybe me a little, but what's wrong with that? I guess I'd ask why you want to bring attention to yourself so much. Nobody listens to me in this family unless I do. 
That's not true. Carolyn's good at piano. Beverly's a great dancer. Joan's super smart and has read every book in the library. Tom can play drums. And what do I do? I want to feel extraordinary, too. And you thought a red door was extraordinary? Well, isn't it? Look. Painting doors will get you noticed, OK? But wouldn't it be great to be noticed for something meaningful? Like what? Like... Like Dr. Jonas Salk, who invented the polio vaccine. He decided it was so important everyone have the vaccine, he didn't even patent it. That means he gave up a lot of money so everyone could be healthy. I mean, do you think Dr. Salk stands out? I think he's a hero. Sometimes when you focus on other people, you can do amazing things. Maybe I should focus on Connie and Benji. That's a great place to start. Why can't they afford a hotel? Connie's husband, Dan, was a sergeant in the Army. And he died during a training mission when Benji was very little. Now, Connie has to support both of them, which is hard. How did you two meet? Connie worked on the assembly line I supervised at the factory during World War II. You were in charge of the factory? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we built airplanes. You built airplanes? Mm hmm Mom, <laughs> why aren't you doing it anymore? Well, the women were let go. When the men came back, they took their jobs. They took them? Why? It's just the way things are. Did you like your job? Couldn't you fight back? I loved the job, but I wasn't given the choice. I don't understand. So women don't make airplanes anymore? Women have lots of opportunities. They can be teachers and nurses and secretaries. The woman I went to high school with writes for a newspaper in New York City. Only one? I bet there are others now. What else? They can be moms. <laughs> That's not a job. Hey, it's not like being in an office or a factory. Being a mom is a very big job, and one I love, too. But dad has a job, and he's still a dad. Mm-hmm. Why can't moms have jobs and still be moms? Well, maybe in the future they will. I'm really sorry about before. I know. I just want you to think first, Ellie, before you go headlong into things. I'll try. You really want to go to Grandmom and Grandpops for Christmas by yourself? Maybe it'd be nice to have them on myself like you did when you were growing up and see real snow instead of the spray on kind. Hmm. No promises, but I'll talk to Dad. You will own me the face! <laughs> Yay! Let's make sure you got all that paint off. Come here. Thinking about others first. That's what moms do. Mm-hmm. That's what the best people do. Finish this laundry. 